fucking gone. <laughs> How would you and you versus Jesus in the octagon? How would that? How would he fare? Me versus Jesus in the octagon. <laughs> uh, Welcome to TMZ. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, uh, how... Yeah, well, obviously Conor McGregor has never heard the gospel before. Uh, he's no revelation of who Jesus is. So at this point, uh, we can only pray for his soul. Maybe the same with Mayweather. I'm not sure if. Uh, See, Connor has got like uh, tattoos. Don't believe Mayweather has any. So Mayweather might be a little bit more clued up about the Bible. This particular tattoo is very, very strange, I would say. This one's a bit more common. It's got his name there, but this one looks a little bit occult, I would say. Could be wrong, but at the end of the day, it's uh, you're disobeying a command from the Lord. Obviously. He doesn't know God. He's like a godless person. Um, unfortunately, you know, the Jesuits are controlling Ireland. You know, they're sort of um, no no real clue who Jesus Christ is. Um, unfortunately for them, but we can only pray for Connor here. He's a very skilled fighter, a very good, um, adaptable martial artist. Uh, maybe he have a chance against Mayweather. A lot of people have already written him off. I think he's, I think he's got a chance, but uh, I just don't think he's got enough experience yet to to win that particular fight. But his spiritual life. Me versus Jesus in the ocean. I tell you what, there's not a man alive that can beat me. <laughs> right. Well, that's uh, ignorance for a start. I mean, you know, Jesus is alive. He, he rose on the third day. Um, died for our sin that's that's the gospel so either he's deliberately ignorant of the gospel or he just uh, he just never heard of it or I'm, I'm not sure <laughs> but Jesus ain't alive is he so I don't f***ing know maybe he oh there you go that's his demon speaking there through probably when he meditates he's got some sort of mantras that he does which is probably very similar to um, yoga and he'll meditate and these probably demons will come into him and so uh, you can see he's got definitely a mocking demon this thing looks occult to me I wouldn't be surprised if if uh, he, he knew something about occultism demonic possession you know a lot a lot of the martial artists that are you know past black belt actually find out certain things and I'm I wouldn't be surprised if Connor actually uh, was in communion with some type of uh, demon demons he could come back from the dead and I, I don't know um, I'd still whoop his ass <laughs> do you hope Justin there you go so that was funny you know so Jesus is about to come back and basically kick Satan's backside and put him into the lake of fire and, and you, you, you as a man think you could uh, beat your creator and saviour. <laughs> very, very sort of, uh, I don't know if that's innocence right there. I think he knows something about occultism, demonic possession. Now, you know, in, in martial arts, it's all about movement. A lot of it's about movement. And so here's a guy who's also studied a lot of different um, fighting techniques, Mike Tyson. And so we'll see if, uh, if uh, Connor takes a leaf out of Mike's training manual here. Well, there's a certain kind of knockout punch. There's something, it, being a big man really doesn't matter. It has no significance in knocking out someone. The main point is the quickness and what you throw the punches and that leverage is what you have in the shoulder snap. Good night. Missed with that, not with that. That's the what Mike Tyson is known for. You know, the bobbing, bobbing and weaving. And that's called the peekaboo style. And uh, really devastating with it. You know, uh, one of the greatest boxers of all time. You know, I think he could have faced any boxer with that style and gotten success on the night. the side of Lorenzo Boyd's body. You think the body shots of Tyson, I mean the body just about collapses in there. 
It's the tremendous leverage. That... Trying to get to the side and look for the opening. I see it. Here it is. Boom! Straight. See that he's looking for the angle, so he's always moving to the side to get uh, get away from the, you know, someone like um, Mayweather's defense, where you can get in from a different angle, make the angle, and then. Um, and the object is really knocking out an individual. Just drawing a punch where he can see. Put it, pivot, swing around. This is like classic, if you watch this, this is really classic. You know, he's got Tyson against the ropes here. All he does is just step to the side. So like the guy's got his legs, literally got his eyes closed and he, he thinks that Mike is still there. Mike has stepped, just one step to the side. So the uppercut is missed and just see what happens. Fine. <laughs> this, this is classic Mike Tyson, this is uh, this is why he's just world class, he's just one of the best of all time. You know, his movement is, is terrific. You know, he's like a ghost in there. You know, people, one minute he's here, next split second he's over there and he's, he's giving you a knockout punch. As you just, know, I made the move when I uh, caught him, and I tried to catch him again, then I caught him off the top of the head again. Then there's another one, the Jets go after, really didn't hit him as hard. I want this combination punches. And when you don't punch it, and you keep. I mean, Connor's good at the combination punches, but uh, it's really all about all about movement. That's what it's going to be about. And uh, Mayweather's got the best defense probably on record of all time. So, is he the best fighter of all time? Not by any means. He's he's maybe just about somewhere in the top ten, Mayweather. But uh, you know, he's he's really going to have to outdo himself for the past uh, 17 or 18 years to get a knockout over Conor McGregor so it's going to be a very interesting fight uh, this evening but uh, let's pray for them both they both need Jesus Christ um, hallelujah both Mayweather and Conor McGregor